All right, today I'm going to show you how to sharpen a knife using a whetstone. My stone isn't that special, it's just a basic stone, two-sided, one's 1,000 grit and another 6,000 grit. 1,000 grit is for getting you know, a sharper edge, and the 6,000 grit's for polishing the stone. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to make sure that your stone is always flat when you begin. So to do this, how I like to do it is I take the stone, and I take a pencil, and I draw a crosshatch across the stone. And after I do this, I'm going to use the sandpaper and grind down the stone. And when I see that there's no more pencil markings, I know that my stone is flat. Now you don't have to do this every single time you sharpen your knife, but it does help. If you wait too long to flatten your stone in between sharpening, then it will take a very long time for you to get the flatter stone. Alright, so now I'm going to start sanding that way the stone. This is the 1000 grit edge. And as you see, as I'm sanding it away, it's only taking off the top and bottom parts. That's because when you use the whetstone to sharpen your knife, you're mainly concentrating on the center area so it wears away the quickest. So I'm going to keep going until I get rid of all the pencil. And every so often I'm going to clean my sandpaper and my stone. Take my sandpaper, just slam it down on the paper towel. keep going. Now the stone has no more lines on it so I know now it's straight and I'm gonna clean this stuff up and I'm gonna move on to the other side of the stone. Alright, so my stone is now clean on both sides, no pencil marks. Get rid of my sandpaper. The next step is to submerge the stone in water and you have to keep it there for about 10 minutes. I see that the bubbles come out of the stone so you have to wait for about 10 minutes to get all the air out of the stone. Alright, now that the stone has been sitting for about 10 minutes, we can take it out. I'm going to start on the 1000 grit side. So remember to always keep your stone wet. Depending on the type of stone you have, it might, you know, get dry quicker than others. I'm going to start on this side of the knife right now. And how you hold it is like this, like that. And when you're doing this side of the knife, you're going to start it flat. And then as you continue stroking the stone, you're going to go like this. You use this hand to control the angle, and you should set the angle at about like a 15 degree angle. Use like your thumb as an indicator, and with this hand you pull the blade back and forth. You use three to, or two fingers to push and pull the blade. Make sure that the edge of the edge of the knife is always having contact with the stone. Give yourself some room and start out. Just some water. Now the main thing to do while you're doing this is to make sure that your hands aren't going like this as you're curving. This hand's supposed to maintain the same angle and you should push with this hand to make sure that you don't mess up the angle. And as you're going up, you turn the blade to a 45 degree angle. And as you get down here, you go like sort of like this. You raise the blade, keep on sharpening the tip. And work back. Going down the edge of the knife. Go again like this. When you do this, you start out a little bit picked up and make sure the tip is on the stone. And when you go down, you sort of rock it down. And make sure that the whole entire bevel touches. And that's a really good way to sharpen your tip and maintain the knife form. Now I'm going to do the other side of the knife. You hold the knife like so. You always keep it at a 45 degree angle with the stone. Now you don't do this. You keep it like this and you push with your three fingers. You use your three fingers to make sure that the edge of the knife is always touching the stone. And you push back and forth with them just like you did in the other way. 
putting your finger right here is going to help with the angle and it's going to help control it. come to the side you do the same thing. Now when you're done with this side you're gonna have to go back to the other side and you're gonna go back and forth from one side to the other going from about a minute and a half to a minute to about 30 seconds on each side. Pretty much what you're doing is you're pushing the edge of the blade back and forth until you're centering it out. So you can keep going and continue on this side now. After a few minutes your knife should be sharp, then you move on to the other side to polish your knife. Polishing your knife is going to make your edge stay sharp for a longer period of time. I, you can do the same sharpening technique I used on the other side, but I actually do something different. I go like this. Like that, and I switch. We'll do it about 20 times on each side, 15 times on each side, 10 times on each side, and 5 times on each side. Now you're done with that, you should just wipe your knife down, wash it, then test it out and see if you need to keep on sharpening or if you're good to go. That's how you sharpen a knife with a whetstone.